Hello. I've arrived. VTuber, artist, archivist, and tonight, alleged medical professional and tactical advisor. <laughs> you can call me Tiberius Vanderfield. Arc Nights, it continues. But yes, I am streaming on a day, on a day that I very specifically did not say that I was going to be streaming on, because, uh, yeah, Monday didn't work out and Wednesday also didn't work out. But I happened to be off work early today, so I had some time for this. But yes, so, um, probably not going to go for too long, because, yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've been having an issue where my internet has been going out pretty consistently at about the same time every day, at about 9.30, 9.35, 9.36, like to that degree of specificity. And I'd rather not that happen during a stream, so if I feel like we're at a decent stopping point, I might stop before that. Ideally, I'd like to not stop during that. I'd like to not do things during that time, ideally. But if I want to continue streaming, I suppose I could use that as sort of a involuntary, kind of half-planned break. <clears throat> but yes, if that need be what it is, I think I need to re reconstruct that sentence. If it is what it is, no, hold on. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm just going to let that one go. Anyway, so, basically, if it happens, it happens. And if I'll just deal with it in the moment. So, yes. So, beyond that, um, I don't have any reason at this point to believe that I won't be able to stream on Saturday. So, I'm going to continue saying that I will stream on Saturday. But yes. That should cover us, more or less. I think we should be able to get back to the uh, Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Sheps uh, starting next Wednesday. That should be on the table. And yeah, I think that's everything that needs to be said. So, Arknights. Now, when I take you to Arknights, try not to be too shocked. You're looking at the... Uh, operator screen, which I've historically avoided showing for uh, concerns of possibly uh, having characters who are spoilers. But uh, but yeah, I found that there is a, a feature that allows you to mark certain operators so that they appear first in the list. So we can scroll for a good while before we start running into even the potential for issues. But yes, I've carefully curated all of these characters. Maybe not all that carefully, but I've chosen some. <laughs> I've chosen some that will uh, hopefully mean that whenever I switch over to this screen, I'm going to be pretty unlikely to show something that I didn't mean to show. But yes, one thing that I did mean to show, and have been meaning to show for a while and never got around to, is the Terra Research Commission. Because we got them, and I never got the chance to use them back when they, uh, back when the event was still running. Or rather, I should say that I never took the chance to use them. Anyway, we're going to increase their potential. I suppose I should mention, I might have talked about it a little bit before, but the Terra Research Commission are a one-star unit, as you can see by the singular star above their name and underneath the trust meter. Yes, they are a one-star unit, and one-star units thus far all act in a sort of a very interesting way uh like invariably they have a extended redeploy time but they also don't count against the number of uh operators you can have deployed at any given moment which can make them very useful for certain purposes yeah i don't know how useful the Terra research commission specifically are but you know they're here <laughs> so you might as well you know but yes, typically the only way that you can improve uh, one-star operators is to use their tokens, so to acquire them multiple times. So it's a good thing that we remembered to do that before we, uh, <laughs> we remember to cash out of the shop before we the event concluded. But yes, so each each 
usage of a token will increase their uh, increase their talent, basically. Nice. And see, uh, I might have wanted to look at this in the meantime, but <laughs> suffice it to say that I'm pretty sure that these numbers are bigger than they were before. And we'll also level them up while we're here. Very nice. But yes, anyway, so I think I might have already said my traditional <laughs> we're going to start the stream video games. But uh, yeah, anyway, there's an event going on. We're not going to engage with that in any meaningful way. Instead, uh, instead, I forgot to get a three star on this mission, but that's fine. I'm not terribly concerned. For now, we shall continue. And see us. So, enemies invisible casters have been confirmed on the battlefield. Eliminate them as they pose a greater threat. I guess we're not going to... Yeah. <laughs> yes, we cannot see what operators they have... Or what uh, enemies, enemy units, we will be seeing before the mission starts. As always. What I meant to look at was the map. Anyway, since they're here... I think we'll use the Terror Research Commission a little bit. Again, I don't know if they'll necessarily be all that practical for what we're doing, but, you know, they'll be pr physically present, if nothing else. I can find them. There we are. Yes. Um, I suppose that's basically all that we need to go over. But yeah, the, the sort of start of stream business sort of bled into this a little bit. <clears throat> Dr. Tiber? I, I didn't mean to, I... The fog is dispersed. We received communications from the LGD. They found more reunion movements. They're currently tracking down one enemy, described as female with white hair. Hmm. Amia, Chen told me she wanted you to, uh... Mm. You don't look so good. Let me handle it. Well, I'll leave her to you, Dr. Tiber. It'd be ideal to leave within five minutes. <sighs> Dr. Tiber? Hmm... Do you not like this power you have? I... I just don't know. I don't know if I should be saying this, but... It... Shouldn't only be hurting other people. I don't want you to see me like this up close. I... Took someone's life. Amia, at least you protected me. This was my duty. I understand. I never believed that anything was already determined by fate. But no matter what happens, no matter what I become, I'll always protect you, Doctor. I promise. No. You all go first. I need to... I need to bring Skull Shatterer back. Are you insane? That's suicide. If you're going, we're all going together. All right. I can't leave him alone out there. Let's go then. Why? Why is Reunion turning back around? What are they doing? Madam Hoshiguma, fall back. LGD, don't panic. Prepare for enemy attack. Cover! Cover me! That woman impossible. We can't get past our shield. Quick, wrap around before they have a chance to react. We have to get Skull Shatterer and bring him. And bring him home. Rhodes Island, they're changing their target. Watch out. Oh no. Adam Hoshiguma, watch your right. Huh? <laughs> you managed to block that? That's a bit interesting. An explosion? Another reunion ambush? Not just that, of course. I'd like you to behave yourself and stay put right here. Don't think about turning back, all right? Where did you come from? Again with those explosives. 
Amia, I'm getting bombarded by Reunion. Their forces are currently headed your way. <laughs> that shield of yours is pretty sturdy. Seems like I've gotten myself into a bit of trouble. Whatever, I'll just treat it like I'm doing Reunion a little favor. Show me something entertaining. Make sure you don't let me down. That's the W person we saw at Chernabog. Could she have managed to shake off Madame Chen? Be careful of the enemy assault. You've got to help Madame Hoshiguma right away. There are many enemies hiding nearby. We won't be able to get the upper hand unless we reveal them. Doctor, please lead our squads and hold off the enemy assault. All right, we will do just that. All right, invisible caster, a caster that cannot be attacked unless blocked. So yes, so pretty standard range for a sniper on the Terror Research Commission. I imagine this will probably be the most practical place to put them. Time to interrogate. So yes. Next after a delay. Um. Yeah, I don't. Most one-star units have some sort of ability that grants them a uh, a buff, a temporary buff. Mm, it might have been good to put a medic here, actually, now that I think about it. Ready to heal. Certainly, it probably would have been better to place a medic down maybe a little bit sooner so we had someone to take some extra heat, but oh well. Um, I suppose we can always use vanilla. But yeah, we're doing pretty decent damage. But yeah, the current uh, busy but saying hi. Good to see you as always, Alt. Alright, so the back line is maybe a little bit too far away to uh, make use of the Terror Research Commission. Alright, there we are. So yes, now we're getting some resources. So yes, so, the Terror Research Commission is a particular type of sniper called an Aftershock Sniper, whereby they will attack, and then after a while they will sort of have a secondary attack, in essence. So yeah. From looking at their talent, I also see that they have a number of uh, random effects that their uh, attacks can produce. So yes, so I think since we've got plenty of DP... We'll switch out to Chen. Doesn't necessarily have to be specifically Chen, but I feel like she's a fine choice. Place down Amia for a little bit more damage. You know, I gotta say, for having said that I wasn't sure how effective the Terra Research Commission were going to be, they sure are doing pretty good. Oh, oh dear. Okay. So, just one medic is not enough to protect Amiya, it would seem like. We only have one other medic who is uh, usable, so we'll just sort of have to live with that. Um, I think we might place down... Eh, I suppose we don't need Amiya specifically. Yeah, place down Meteor. And I feel like I want Doberman somewhere else as well. Though... It might be better to place her near Chen. Though, on the, on the other hand, Chen does do a lot more damage. So she might not need the backup. Yes, yeah, so it does seem... Hmm. It seems like either the Terror Research Commission... Uh, either they have a limited number of uses of their explosive barrels. Because I know that they have, you know effects associated with their abilities like i said it seems that either they have a limited number of use of them uses of them or they uh can only activate so many or yeah only have a let's try that again they only have a limited number of uses of them or they can only uh man what am i saying only have a limited number of uses of them or they have a, a chance of going off and considering that we haven't seen them activate at all 
recently. I'm assuming it's more that they only have so many. So yeah. Um, talent deactivates after triggering damage effect three times. Okay. So it's a it's a very random, apparently. Yeah, there are a number of effects that can happen. And yeah, it only... If the damage effect happens three times, then it just stops working. All right. So they don't have the sort of limited timed effects, passive effects like other one stars do, but they do have a limited sort of temporary expendable resource. Sick. Yeah, I think going forward, I probably, unless I have reason to believe that the mission will be particularly difficult, probably I might as well just use uh, the sanity. It's not that it's, it's not like it's that precious at any rate. Direct memory access for application yes. Map. An enemy Since we need to block enemies like here, we might as well start deploying our vanguards here. Okay. Enemy spotted. Prepare to fight. Yeah, deploying... Eh, deploying Gaviel will be fine, I think. We didn't have any issues with her before. Given the positioning, actually, this would probably be a slightly better place to put Telopsis rather than uh, Gaviel. Yeah, I do wonder... I do wonder how much, uh... Okay, so I'm guessing, yeah, the sparkles on the Terror Research Commission indicate whether or not their ability is active, I would assume. I sleep on the job. But yes, anyway, what was I saying? Something, I'm sure. Got it. Here I am. Hmm, that is a good question. Your words are my command. Hey, yeah, oh, now I remember. So now that I see that they are, they don't have their ability anymore. I wonder, okay, yeah, they do have a very long re redeploy time. I was sort of hoping that they might have a slightly shorter one, but uh, no, no lice, no lice, <laughs> no luck and no dice. Um, I was hoping that they might have a slightly shorter one than other three stars to accommodate the fact that they uh, have their relatively uh, uh, we, well, yeah, it would probably be best to place a, a medic anyway. But yes, to accommodate for the fact that they, uh, well, yeah, I was going to say accommodate their ability, but other, other ones have similar, you know, similar lengths in which they, of time in which they are useful. And yeah, similar lengths of time in which they are useful, but still have, uh, pretty much the same cool pull down but yeah one stars can be very useful in some situations like if you really really need an extra unit for some reason but in a lot of cases they're just kind of okay nothing spectacular in any respect but yes everything seems to be holding together pretty well I feel like I, yeah, I can get, uh, yeah, Meteor here and just get a little bit more DPS and everything should be fine. But yes, all is well. But yeah, I don't think we should really need, uh, we've got more DPS than we did last time, so I don't think we're going to need to concern ourselves with this too much. We should be pretty well set. Yeah, so anyway, one stars can be useful in some places and at some times. In particular, I've had a I've used uh, the one star medic Lance at 3 uh, to great effect a number of times. But uh but yeah. They aren't as reliable as other operators because again, they are they generally have very low stats because they have a very low level cap and just kind of are poor in general. Um, they have low stats, and it's hard to redeploy them to get their abilities back. 
you know, because it takes like, as you saw there, 200 seconds, which is shorter than I remembered, but I might just not be remembering properly. Anyway, <clears throat> Amia speaking, so I won't interrupt her anymore. Fall back. Everyone, regroup. Let them go. The enemy is going to cut off our squads at this rate. We can't afford to let that happen in case more reinforcements show up. These reunion forces are not targeting us. Our top priority is to keep our operators safe. Snipers, stop attacking their fleeing reunion forces. Focus on helping Madame Hoshiguma first. So annoying. Not bad, not bad. You actually managed to soak up all my attacks. But how much work can you take? That depends on how long you can survive. Chen, hurry up! Surround that woman. Oh, did LGD come to play? Lower your weapons. We meet again, madame. You won't talk your way out of this. All that you've done to lung men, I'll do it to you twice over. Oh my, how scary. But I'm not here to play with you today. Amia, catch! Me? This is some kind of phone? That's right. Someone wants to talk to you. Huh? Anyway, that concludes my mission. Before I forget, I have something for you as well, madam. See you later. Watch out! A short-range bomb? No, it's a flashbang. Don't let her trick you. It's too late. She already got away. She sure got out of here, out of there fast. All she needed was a momentary distraction to slip through our defenses. Also, you should be careful of that thing you're holding. If it's another bomb. This seems like a regular cell phone. Except, could it be... Oh, uh-oh. We got a bot here. But yes, no promotion, please. Thank you, bye. Um... Delete. There we are. Okay, anyway. Hello? Is that... Amia? Misha! Tell me where you are. Tell me, where are you? I'm... Amia. Prioritize treating the heavily injured. We need a blood transfusion here. Hurry! Why? Even though we're all infected. Rhodes Island. Why would they do this to us? We were always abandoned from the very beginning. We have no escape. Nothing at all. Don't die. Don't leave me. We promised. Promised we'd go home together. <laughs> Brother, don't. Do you hear their voices? Reunions infected? I remember now. No, I never forgot. I just didn't want to remember. That's right. It was reunion that destroyed my home. My father also. But we brought it upon ourselves. That year, I watched my younger brother dragged away before my own eyes. He called out for me, crying my name, but I turned away, hid inside my room. When he found me again, he had sacrificed so many things. Even though he still loved me, I was afraid and I ran away. But I now understand. Everything that he has done is just to give the oppressors a taste of the suffering that the infected go through every day. And now, I am one of them. It's time for me to atone for my sins. Misha, don't be rash. No matter how you treated the infected in the past, you can always change. It's no use. What can I change? Because I was one of those who turned a blind eye. After becoming an infected, I finally see it clearly. The way normal people treated the infected is how the infected would treat normal people. 
because they deserve it. No. All of this is nothing more than the weeds of evil that have sprouted from the seeds of cruelty I planted. This torment is my karmic justice. But why? Why? Why did that happen to him, even though he had done nothing wrong? All he was guilty of was suddenly coming down with the infection. He was so young. He'd only just started asking for me to help with his homework. If only I... If only I had protected him back then. Misha, please, calm down. You didn't hurt any innocents. None of this was your fault. From the very beginning, who's innocent? The only thing that's wrong is this label that the infected have been given. Hmm. I just realized that's not gone from the chat. Can I... Hmm. Well, that gets rid of the whole chat, which is not necessarily what I would like, but it is what it is, I suppose. If this is a cycle of revenge against each other, then tell me, who is the one who set this tragedy into motion? If Ursus had never treated the infected like monsters, then what reason would anyone have to hate Ursus so much? Who ordained that the infected must suffer like this? Misha, Bill Shatterer is dead. You can come back to us now. I promise we'll... Amya, I've already found my answer. I am an infected. I stand on the side of the infected. Don't... That's right, Amya. You're also an infected. So you should be able to understand. That's right. I'm just like you. It's like everyone in Rhodes Island. We all understand how you feel. But Misha, even if you accept your identity, that won't change who you are. Please, wait for me. I'm coming to find you. Don't come. Misha, where are you? You're right, Amya. You're absolutely right. I was just feeling guilty. Guilty because I was too weak. But I've made up my mind. Even if it's only a single step, it is a step that I must take. I'm sorry, Amya. I'm so sorry. <laughs> to be an infected is to be a part of reunion. That is all we are, after all. Goodbye. Misha? Misha! Misha! Come back when you're less mediocre. Yes. So, things have uh, taken a turn for the worse, it would seem. That's it. Yes. So, we've still got a good amount of time before the scheduled unplanned break. Yes. So, I think we've made use of these. Yeah, we've. in fact, now that I think about it, we've definitely made use of these detectors before. Yes. Ah, hey there, Gogo. -Go. Good to see you again. How's it going? Going pretty good. But yes, we've just uh, passed a rather tragic turn in the story. So, on account of that, let me show you some cool new outfits for, for this cat, for these cats that we've got. But yeah, so one thing that I meant to show earlier, Coffee Man. Yeah, one thing that I meant to show earlier is that the uh, the Terror Research Commission also has a an alternate skin. They yeah, also, unfortunately, only ex uh, acquirable during the event. But yes. But yeah, we've had other operators using alternate skins before. Good cats, yes. <laughs> we've had other operators using uh, using alternate skins before, but I think this might be the first time. Well, actually, no, never mind. I was going to say, I think this might be the first time I've shown putting one on, but that's absolutely not true. But yeah, anyway, we'll continue to use the Terror Research Commission for a little bit longer, I think. <clears throat> All right, back to uh, serious tone. It's dangerous to lose focus on the battlefield. 
I'm sorry. I just am having trouble understanding. Mm, this bunker down inside an abandoned mine. That woman, W, also fled inside. I can give you some space if you need time alone. However, the LGD has no time to waste. Oshiguma, gather the others. Misha. Madam Chen, I have one concern. Concern? W is a master of explosives. It's highly likely that she has deployed traps on the battlefield. I'm worried that we'd sustain heavy casualties from a direct confrontation. My suggestion is for Rhodes Island to sneak into the mine while your forces set up an encirclement. We'll flush out the reunion forces and you can arrest them immediately. And those who refuse to surrender will handle our way. How confident do you feel about facing that woman? I'm not sure. But we can bear that risk. We fought her more than once before. At least we'll have some understanding of her fighting style. There are some risks that the LGD can't afford to shoulder. Can't afford to lose sight of the mission objective either. EC-944172, take our forces and surround the mines. Oshiguma, pick out a few troops to take with you. We'll each take a squad and move in with Rhodes Island. Oshiguma, you and Rhodes Island will split off and pincer them, destroy their base of operations, and route their defenses. We'll ta I'll take care of the fire bases. For Lungmen's sake, we have to. Bring Misha back. Understood. I'll gather our operators. Shen, there's a small group of reunion forces heading out along the edge of the mines. They're moving pretty quickly, too. I'll head out first, otherwise we might lose them. Hurry, don't let them get away. Ah, Madam Hoshiguma, please wait a moment. When they ambushed us earlier, they were hiding some casters among their forces. I'd recommend taking two of our operators, Franca and Liskarm, with your squad. They have a lot of experience fighting casters. No problem. All right. Let's do this, shall we? What about you, Amya? Dr. Calcite told us to... Penguin Logistics is backing me up, so I'll be fine. Sounds like a plan. I can't stress this enough, but don't be too stubborn. Back off if the situation gets too rough. Amya? I know. We don't have much time left. This isn't like Chernabog. This time, it's our turn to stop Reunion. Yes, how are you doing today, Gogo? I hope you are well. The battle has begun. Be careful, everyone. Multiple detectors have been found on this battlefield. Once charged, detectors can reveal nearby invisible units. You should make good use of them. Incoming. Yes. Ready, that prompt makes me feel like this is something maybe that we haven't seen before. It's phrased vaguely in that in that manner. Hmm. Oh no, I think yeah, I think these are different. I think these are different. Because yeah, what we saw before were I was gonna say units, but I guess that's not entirely accurate. What we saw before were things that uh, activated when you had uh from having a unit nearby to them. Let's see. So is this permanent or is it just a sort of AOE? Okay, yeah, no, I see there's a bar decreasing, so this definitely isn't permanent. Yeah, I guess whether or not it's permanent, uh, it's still an AOE, so. Yes, yeah, so we'll want a little bit more firepower down this uh, central corridor, I think, if we're going to make use of these detectors. Hmm. At least the recharge on the detectors isn't too bad. I suspect we're probably going to want another medic somewhere. The question is where? Hmm. I think this would probably be good, a good place for a defender. There you are. 
and it might have also been good to place enemy or place uh, snipers facing upwards, perhaps, to start getting at those enemies earlier. We're uh, hold on. <laughs> I just realized we're facing a, a lot uh, down on this lane, so maybe I should have started placing units uh, sooner. Well, this looks like a situation where the uh, Terror Research Commission is quite effective. Yes, uh, they might not last for that long, but they have done a good job while they've been up. And Gaviel's taking good... oh, well. Maybe not the best care of them, but, uh, you know, she did She did a pretty good job. Um, Cruz, yeah, Cruz is facing right, so this, this detector here is kind of not very useful to us. Um... Yeah, we did hold that wave. We did hold that wave, so we could have been doing worse. Ready for action. Yes, as for... It might be... Actually, yeah, okay, yeah. Amya is within healing range of Gaviel. And Chen, I think, would be best here. As a initial line of defense. We've got a veteran butcher. Yes, yeah, so which is basically just butcher again, but stronger. Butcher -er, perhaps. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Hmm. Ah, Chen's outside of oh no, never mind. Where do you need me? I thought Chen was outside of healing range, but she's fine. This is the shot. Yeah, I want to start taking out these enemies before Chen uh starts getting overwhelmed, ideally. This might not have been the best spot for Amya, considering that uh, casters typically have relatively high resistance. Come on, get it but it's an okay spot. Alright, that's not quite charged yet, but it's about to be. You know, I might actually... This might be a good place for slow operators. I guess uh, slow supporters, I should say. There are other operators who can slow, but... The supporters would be the most consistent option. Hmm, okay, Chen has gone down, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, the mission's basically over. Alright, that's not charged. But, yeah, one more caster won't break us. We're fine. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. And of course, now we just sort of have to wait for the caster to uh, walk into striking range. I suppose we could deploy an operator to make them uh, strikeable sooner. There you go. You got to save every second you can. No. Impossible. Impossible. Uh, how could this be? Skull Shatter. Skull Shatter. We can't let Misha see this. Who here knows first aid? Get them over here now. Why did Mephisto refuse to come? What is he doing? He kept talking about some other plan. What is with that? If he was here, we would have been able to save so many people. You can't count on that guy anyway. He doesn't care about his comrades anyway. Don't blame yourself for things you can't control. Thanks for covering us, W. At least we were able to bring him back. If you want to thank me, do it through your actions. Of course, we'll cover your escape. However, I have one request. Please promise to take care of Misha. Of course. After all, I am still of use to you, right? We... Please let me spend some time with Skull Shatterer alone. I will take care of him. But, fine. W, it's a promise, one that you must keep. I know, I know. I just said, let me spend some time with him alone. But you should get going. Lungman and Rhodes Island will come barging in here any moment now. I guess the people here are going to die, too. My, oh my. What a dilemma we have. Misha, so many more people are going to die because of you. <laughs> what a pity. 
You're really getting on my nerves, W. You won't get anything from me. Whoa, scary. <laughs> you know, that bunny girl seems to really care about you. But that Shen lady seems different. She won't show mercy to anyone. Maybe she'll decide to spare your life because she needs you. But you've seen enough of Ursus to know what will happen after that, right? If you come with me now, it's still not too late. Although, you'd still have to watch all our reunion friends sacrifice themselves. I suppose that's just their fate, though. Such pitiful things. Ah, that's right. Even though you saw everything that happened... You know, uh, how do I put this? Um, I don't, I really don't have the spare energy to drag Skill Shatterer all the way back to Chernabog. Shut up. I'm just telling the truth. I mean, the situation here is hopeless after all. Hurry, and let me know once you've cleared your head, okay? No. I swear I'll bring Skull Shatterer back to life. Skull Shatterer isn't dead. Skull Shatterer cannot die. If he was here, he'd protect us. All of us. I just know this is what he would have done. Everyone is just like me. We're all infected. I am also one of them. We have nowhere to go. Everyone needs to be protected. This is Skull Shatterer's legacy. Man, those guys were weak. I regret not giving them a few whacks with the staff here. All right. But yes, it seems that Skull Shatterer will live on in a way. But yes, I really... Hmm. Here's the challenging part. Because I really want to see this through to the end. I'm pretty sure we're pretty close to the end of chapter chapter three at this point um but yeah i want to see this to the end but also i don't want to get interrupted by the by the uh internet issue that i've been that i told you about earlier but at the same time if i take a break now then that means we're going to have a really long break with the internet issue hmm I don't know. I think I might just need to, uh, I might just need to accept that the, well, no. Yeah, I think, pardon. Anyway, so we're going to take a little break here and I will come back after uh, my internet has gone down and come back. Or maybe I won't. Or, well, that is to say, maybe the internet won't go out. That seems unlikely considering that it's happened 100% of the time for the past few days. But, uh, assuming that it doesn't, then I should be back within, I don't know, within 15 minutes or so. But if it is, if it does go down, then it'll be a little bit longer. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is, once again. But yeah, I suppose, yeah, I'll mention while we're here. Yeah, one thing that I've been trying to uh, get better at is trying not to worry so much about having sort of an ideal stream or trying to uh, trying to approach ideal an ideal stream. I struggle a lot with like these sort of streams, especially now that we've been that I've been having this internet issue. Yeah, I always want to you know have a stream that goes on for you know I always want to aim for for two hours two hours that's sort of the the standard that I have for myself and you know usually we don't go quite that long but you know it's sort of two hours is the goal but you know whatever is the most reasonable stopping point before then because I also don't want to sort of leave on sort of a weird note something that would be hard to pick back up on next time or something like that want a satisfying conclusion to the stream, you know. But yeah, anyway. All of this is say is to say, you know, recently I've been struggling a lot with sort of trying to wanting to try to stream for a particular amount of time, but not always having that amount of time on any given day. And so as a result I just sort of end up not streaming. 
which is not ideal. But yeah, it's definitely better to stream shorter than I would like than to not stream at all, because a zero minute stream is also very short and not very good. But yes. Anyway, all of that is to say, uh, yeah, I'll be taking a break here in a little bit and I will get back whenever my internet comes back <laughs> because I have very little say over that. But yeah, um, anything else I want to say before my break? I really wish there was some way that I could, like, put up some sort of persistent, like, you know, the stream isn't over, I'm just kind of not, uh, I'm just kind of away for reasons that are beyond my uh, direct control. But, you know, there's only so much I can do. So, like I said, break time. I will be back uh, when I'm able to come back. Hello? Hello? We're back. At least it would seem so. But yeah, all indications are saying that we're back, so I'm assuming that we're back. So that's nice. Yeah, it took about 17 minutes today, which is uh, better than it has been. Some days it's been as low as 10 by my count. Some days it's been as long as 30. But yes, anyway, so, Arknights. Gotta relaunch it as I closed it while the internet was, or, yeah, because, the eh. Internet out, so no Arknights, because Arknights is online game. Anyway, now we're back. So I've got to launch the game again. I hope you are all well during the 17-ish minutes that I was away. Alright. Game should be back up in a few seconds here. Assuming that, that I don't have any issues on the other end. Yep, there we go. Alright, both computers are equally good. Nice. And once we load into the game, we will resume. seven and it wasn't too long ago that that felt like it was going to take forever for us to get to but uh we're here now of course we have three eight after this but all right so this battlefield is complicated use roadblocks to guide the enemies into range of our snipers okay so we've got another roadblock map and we also have the singular detector so yeah so probably the play here will be we'll want to prioritize getting enemies up into this area. I'd like to have a nice bigger pointer. Also, I can unpin this comment now, considering that we aren't, uh, considering that we are no longer, uh, how do I unpin a comment? There we are. But yes, considering that we're now back uh, to streaming, I don't need to, oh, did I lose internet again? It says it's unable to update. Uh-oh. Um, it doesn't look like we've lost internet connection. Everything else seems to be working fine. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I can navigate to web pages just fine. I'm guessing, I don't know, it might just be a little bit odd yeah for some reason i can't unpin that comment but oh well anyway where was i oh yeah i was gonna say i would like to have a bigger pointer to indicate things with here because i feel like the one that i have is not very evident on the stream but then again i've got a pretty small screen here that i'm looking at so it might be a little bit easier otherwise anyway <coughs> Let's get back into things. Hopefully we should be able to clear the these next two stages before we have to wrap up for the night. We've broken through their first defensive line. What are the casters doing? Even though there's only one enemy in the vanguard, why are they just watching her tear us apart? Hurry, hurry, take her out! Franka, you're getting out of range. I can't give you cover from here. Do I look that reckless to you? Watch your four o'clock. This garment's time for your debut. 
You sweetie and block the enemy's range attacks, won't you? <sighs> Quick, faster. Focus down the one with the sword first. <sighs> Did we get her? Huh? Don't even think about it. You call those attacks or are you just throwing sticks and stones? Whoa. Where'd this one come from? I owe you one, Captain. My pleasure. However, Franco, your task was to launch a faint attack. Instead, you fought your way all the way here. You have a huge target over your head now. Is that fine with you? Sure is. After all, I have a trusty partner. After all. Ugh. Ah. Franca, you charged way too far ahead. See, she caught up to us. <laughs> I'm not used to this kind of stuff. Why are you making me charge headlong into the enemy? I don't get it. Huh? Curses. LGD and Rhodes Island are working together. There's no way we can defend this place. <laughs> we can't afford to hesitate. It's do or die. Everyone, charge! The enemies are rushing straight at us. Die! You plan to resist? You leave me with no choice. Don't take it personally. You. Ah. <sighs> Madam, you're quite strong. That reunion fellow, not his lucky day. If some nerve to attack us like that. I feel bad for him. They should apologize to everyone who fell by their hands. Inspector. I'm glad to see that you're all fine. We've collapsed their flank. The next step is to launch our all-out assault. Fine by me. Everything seems to be going smoothly. That probably won't last for much longer. The enemies have set up many obstacles and are doing a good job of staying hidden. Amia, be prepared for a hard fight. Dr. Typer, make sure you scout things out thoroughly and protect your squads. Of course. Everyone, let's go rescue Misha together. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. That'll be... That'll be an interesting... No, I was gonna say, do we careful, everyone. I thought for a second there that we had lost game audio, but no, the game was just being quiet at that particular moment in time. Um, anyway. So... Now we need to make some tactical decisions. I suppose there's only so many tactical decisions we can make while we're, you know, not, uh, yeah, while we are not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? While we haven't seen what we're up against. But yes, I think this is a decent place to start. I want to block off here and here, I think would be most ideal. That would prevent enemies from coming out of this uh, area on this side and then going in very quickly. Yes, it does make it a little bit harder for me to guide enemies sort of into this, the area of the detector. Can't block all the routes, please redeploy. Hmm. Oh, right, because that's... <laughs> I placed in the wrong location. Um, probably we want, uh, snipers sooner rather than later, because we're about to, uh, have an enemy pass through our defenses, or maybe not. Anyway, so there, oh, 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 there we are. It is precisely as I had expected. But yeah, so we'll have, I guess again, I can't predict too much. All I can know is what's going on currently. Um... Do we want another sniper around here, is the question. Hmm. Yeah, Meteor wouldn't be able to cover a whole lot of space, unfortunately. Bang is about to... is running very low on health. But that's pretty fixable. Um, yeah, not a terrible concern. Yeah, that being said, once Fang... Oh, dear. Well. Ready for action. Hmm. Um. <laughs> Alright. Hey, 
Yeah, I was going to say, once Fang has dealt with this enemy, I think we'll switch over to Durnar. And so we will do that. I'll leave the support to you. So yeah, more damage would be good, I think. Actually. Um, though we do need to have range on... I guess we don't necessarily need to, but it would be good to have range on enemies around the detector. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. How else do we want to? How else can we improve this? Again, I think damage is the main concern currently. One thing, I do feel like it would be good to place these roadblocks roughly thusly. Alright, extra damage from Durinar. Chen is in a position where she can't be healed, but that's okay. Ideally, she's... oh. Alright, that's a new type of enemy. Hmm. Gaviel is probably maybe eh, maybe grab Gaviel's not that great off. Um, how do we want to swing this? I feel like placing a Vanguard here is probably not a great idea to be honest, but it's an idea. I was kind of hoping for a moment that maybe the enemy wouldn't be able to, uh... Whoop. Right. <laughs> I assume that if the... I would assume... I had assumed that if the block would have blocked an enemy, it just would not have allowed them to, uh... It just wouldn't have allowed them to... Wouldn't have allowed it to be placed, but uh, I guess that's not true. We're getting a lot of enemies getting past our defense, which is not great. Probably I want more... What do I want more of? Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm realizing I... am lost my defender. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, I think our defense is uh, just about to crumble here. There's not really anything else we can do. But yes, anyway, what I was going to say is I think what would be more ideal would be to place a roadblock. And I guess the two places that we have roadblock or no. Yeah, no. The roadblock below the entrance here. I'd want to shift it one over, still place one here, and instead place one up here and funnel enemies around through this side, going in a counterclockwise fashion down to this lower entrance. Because, yeah, I think that will give us more opportunity to get enemies within the range of the detector and give us more time to have enemies within range of being shot. But yes, I don't particularly like that mortar enemy and we'll want to deal with them. But I believe we will need a unit that can heal themselves in order to have a good chance there. Is everyone okay? Yes, the game has very helpfully here. informed me that my operators are underleveled, but I'm aware of that. That is intentional. Sit. Okay, yeah, it still won't let me unpin that message. So, yes. So, now that we uh, have established that we are... Maybe not likely, but that we could very well fail this... Let's try some different things out and use practice. Ah, hello there. A wild righto. Thank you for dropping by. Thank you for your raid. Well, yeah, hello, hello. Yeah, I must say I don't believe I've seen any of you around before. Yes, thank you again for dropping by. Yeah, how's everybody doing tonight? What were you all doing before you got here? Yes. Welcome to Arknights. Thank you. I've been playing Arknights for quite a while, but yes. <laughs> but yeah, it's a it's a story I've told a few times. But yeah, I've been playing Arknights for a while, but I've been avoiding the main story because I wanted to uh, play that for the first time on stream. But yes, once again, thank you for dropping by. Thank you for your welcome. But yeah. So. Anyways, to solve this problem, I think we're going to want a uh, unit that can heal themselves. And I think, yeah, a... 
probably Utage would be, uh, yeah, we were watching, uh, Raito finally be H, H12-4. Hmm. Gotcha. But yeah, so I think, uh, for the purpose that we need, uh, for the purpose of defeating the mortar users, we'll probably want Utage. Yeah, there are other operators that we have that could heal themselves, but I think Utage is probably best for the purpose. Um, as for the rest, I think we're basically fine. Yeah, the better positioning uh, is ideal, but we'll work that out as we continue to practice. Team, yes. So, with that in mind, Leave it to us. we will position thusly. Yeah, block off their routes as soon as possible. Probably I should place a sniper before I forget about it. <laughs> mm -hmm, I'm listening. Yes. Probably don't need to block everything quite so early, but it is what it is. Of course, one issue with placing too many snipers too readily is that we will... Yeah, we might. If we're not careful, we might not have the healing coverage on them because yeah even even now yeah cruise is out of range of any medic unless i were to place one up top but that would expose them to a lot of fire from the casters which is less than ideal um of course a lot of this can be solved by just playing intelligently and deploying our units at a uh, reasonable understandable times Everyone, so Gaviel. Gaviel's good here, I think. And then we will place Meteor, perhaps. And yeah, so I think what we would do at this point, in, short, in order to ensure enemies get funneled appropriately, would be to place the blocks here. So yes, we should be seeing some casters soon-ish, I think. But it seems like we might be seeing some more hounds for a while. A slow operator might be good. I feel like I say that basically every stage, but I never use any. Yes, yeah, so apologies if my uh, dog has become uh, audible. Yeah, I should start using this a little bit sooner so that we have you know, range on them. Gotta go. Good luck with the story stages. Thank you for dropping by once again. And yeah, thank you for the well wishes. I hope you do well as well. Alright, now that we've got the Mortar Gunner, we can start deploying Utage. Yeah, we're getting a lot of enemies and we've got a lot of deployment points, so I think... No, we're not going to deploy... Uh, or rather, the first one that we deploy won't be uh, Durinar. I think we'll go with Doberman. Yeah, the positioning here is a little bit awkward. I might have actually... It might have been better to place Doberman just to the left of uh, Cruz, actually. Yeah, that would probably have been best. Yeah, let's turn that on. Yeah, given this... Honestly, I kind of feel like we should redeploy Doberman. Or rather, deploy someone else, perhaps. Of course, we are once again in the in a situation where we only have so much healing coverage, but I suppose we can still place an enemy in front of Durnar. Did I say place an enemy in front of Durnar? Place a uh, place a unit in front of Durnar, rather. One that would be helpful to our cause. Oh, I just realized I do have a slow operator. Of course, if I place her here, she'll be out of range of uh, Gaviel's healing, which is less than ideal. I could always place Telopsis as well. Or I could have I could have placed Telopsis instead of uh, Gaviel. Or perhaps in addition to. Certainly, though, now we do need some more healing. Oh, dear. Okay, it was just a little bit too late. Okay. 
Of course, the real problem now is that, uh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, the real problem now is that I've placed basically all of my units, or I've placed Durnar already. And so now, basically all of my units are going to have to deal with the problem of having to resist all this incoming damage uh, instead of instead of Durnar. Hmm. And yeah, Durnar is outside the range of Telopsis, so that's unfortunate. So now Telopsis is doing basically nothing, which is not good. Um, <laughs> so yes, this is probably still salvageable, but it's not looking great. I don't like placing Amia in this specific location, though it seems like we're not going to run into... I mean, I guess the mission's pretty close to being done. So we're probably not going to run into too many more threats. Or at least too many more threats who can target uh, ranged units. Elopsis is quite a capable healer, so we shouldn't need to worry too much about her. But yeah, I definitely should have placed Telopsis where Gaviel is. Yeah, I wasn't quite thinking that far ahead. More damage on Amia. I feel like we're probably not going to get a whole lot more Mortar Gunners at this point. Oh. Yes, I'm going to wait till they're in front to start uh, to deploy Chen. Okay, we are... Yeah, we're basically done. Okay, we're good. But yeah, so that could have been refined a little bit, but it went pretty well. Very good. We've accomplished our objective as planned. All right. So, let's try that again. But yes, now that we know what we're doing. I'm running pretty low on sanity, I'm realizing at this point, but oh well. We're off. Remember to stay frosty and keep an eye out. So yes. So, using what we've learned, we will place our operators a little bit more appropriately. Again, we probably don't need to worry about... Okay, I was gonna... <laughs> For a second there, I was worried that the enemy was just gonna path right past, uh... Well... Everyone, follow me. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was worried that the enemy was gonna path right past Durinar, or uh, Fang, and uh, it seems that my worries were uh, well-founded. There we go. All right, so let's try this again. So, cruise here is fine. Cruise here would be better, though, I think. Mm -hmm, I'm listening. Of course, we're also going to want to probably deploy Meteor at some point. Everyone. And that probably would have been a better place for Meteor now that I think about it. Archie, because she would have been able to uh, target more... Or target enemies like that bunch up in front of the defense rather than just ones who sort of come this way of course we can always move the front line forward and so yeah so now the question sort of becomes do i want to place another medic here to get a little bit more healing on the front line or do i want to get more damage. And so yeah, so this time, yeah, I think what we'll do, Initiation. ah, we do, hmm, this is less than ideal a little bit with how Telopsis is stationed. Because yeah, I was thinking of placing, I was thinking of placing Durnar here directly underneath the uh, detector. But if I do that, then she's uh, in danger. She won't be able to be healed. Yeah, and I won't be able to deploy... Yeah, I won't be able to deploy any medics in such a way that she can be healed if I place her there. So the only real place to put her would be somewhere around here or where Bang is already. Which is less than ideal because, again, I did want to... I wanted to move the front line a bit forward so that I can place Chen like this. Though I might also be able to get value out of Chen placed this way. Ideally, I don't want Chen to be blocking units is the 
issue. Yes, now we have to deploy your target. You did excellently. Yes, absolutely no complaints about Utage's performance. As usual, she is quite effective. Yes, now... What do we want to do? This would allow us to deal some more arch damage to enemies who get bunched up there. Which would be good for the higher defense enemies that we're seeing later in the stage. Though we dealt with them pretty well without any real arch damage Just earlier. Everyone, I should be using the detector again. Critical hit. But yes, what I could do is I could always switch out crews for Amia. That's also an option. I think I might do that. And then, yeah, now we'll swap out Fang for Durnar very quickly. Alright, so we should be in a pretty good position. And if we need to, we can deploy Gaviel in such a way that she can heal Durnar. For right now, though, I'll just let things ride. Part of me does want to place Doberman for a little bit more DPS. And I might do that. Again, it might have been ideal to... It might have been better to... I mean, it definitely would have been better to do, to wait to deploy Durnar until after I deployed Doberman. Yeah, I definitely have a habit of relying quite heavily. Alright, I'm not liking the way that... Uh, the, the way that uh, Durnar's health is trending. So I think we're going to follow through on the idea that I had. I'm ready. Don't get your oh. in ah, Sheps. Hello, hello. This is good evening, shop. everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Good to see you, as always. Come on, get it yes, how are you doing today, Sheps? Yeah, I believe, if I remember correctly, you were playing some Baldur's Gate, right? Yes. Yo to you as well, Sheps. <laughs> Come on. Yes, very good to see you, as always. Yeah, how are you doing tonight? Yeah, everything seems to be holding pretty well. That might have been a little bit of an early <coughs> activation on the detector. Very, very sleepy. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it is getting a little bit late for me as well. I was hoping to try and end the chapter before, uh, before I... Yeah, end the chapter before the end of stream today, but it looks like that might not necessarily happen. Alright, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. We're not having any issues, and I think we're going to be able to hold without uh, without any more troubles. Yeah, Act 3 Baldur's Gate is huge. I'm honestly overwhelmed. Fair enough. Understandable. Yes. Probably would have been better to deploy the detector, but it's Stop. fine. Yeah, debating doing some of it off stream. Mm. So it really must be quite uh, extensive then. Hang in there, I'm coming. Sit. All right. I guess I could fast forward through this. <laughs> All right. And yeah, so I think we'll do this after story, and then we will wrap up for the night. <clears throat> Don't let them get through. W should have escaped with Misha. We can't let... <laughs> Out of my way. Do you have a death wish? Ugh! Ooh, that savage fighting style reminds me of someone from Rhodes Island. They do have a lot in common, don't they? Franka, don't just stand there. Hurry up and do something. Sure, sure. <laughs> Looks like all those legends about Lungmen's Inspector are true. Stay focused. Hey, I'm not just... staring at other people. Ugh. See those enemy squads on the second floor? I found them first. Good job. <laughs> Let's go. 
We can't let our client handle this alone. Franca, have you found Misha? Can't find her anywhere. W probably already took her away. <sighs> Don't you think that was a bit too fast? Hmm? What was that? An explosion? Franca, gather your squad. We have to back up the LGD. Rhodes Island, watch out! Th this enemy! They... What happened? Talk to me! The enemy... What? That's... How is that possible? What? Is this some kind of trick? It's a miracle! It's a miracle! Why? Don't just stand there. Take cover. Yes, here we are facing an enemy that we had thought we had slain. We've been sent a miracle. Is that you? It's really you. He's fine. He, he's fine again. Skull Shatterer is alive. Skull Shatterer, it's really you. Hooray. Could it be? No. Green's morale has been boosted since the reappearance of their leader. It'll be more difficult to suppress them now. Skull Shatterer, things are looking dire. But at least you've come back to us. I'm so relieved. I'm so, so glad. Misha should have made it out of here as well. Now we can fight without any regrets. I will stay here and hold them back. You should all go. I'll protect you all. What are you talking about, Skull Shatterer? Didn't you promise that we'd get back to Ursus together? We still have to teach them a lesson. Take care of yourselves. Don't die. No. Impossible. Hurry up and move it. Ushiguma, contact the LGD forces stationed outside immediately. We've neutralized most of the traps and ambushes. The enemy leader, W, and the target are still missing. Right now, we're changing the mission objectives. All squads, move in and take out the reunion. Why? Why is this happening? No. Come back when you're less mediocre. Uh, always with Doberman to break the tension. But yes. So, we do have one, at least one more mission. I guess I don't know that it's one specifically, but... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. But yes. But yeah. Apologies for it being a little bit of a short stream since you all came in here, but thank you all for being here today again. Yes, thank you, Sheps, for the raid. And thank you, uh, let's see, what was the name? Uh, a Wild Raito. Thank you also for the raid. Oh, yes. So, let's see, let's see. Yeah, so we're wrapped up on the uh, Ark Knights for today. So I suppose we'll go into business. Oh, right, right, right. So, before I get ahead of myself, if anyone so has any raid suggestions, myself, if anyone, yes, if anyone has any raid suggestions, as always, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can always find a target myself. Anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, it's time for business. So, like I said, today, Arknights. Um, tomorrow, most likely we won't be seeing another stream. Yeah, today was a little bit of a... Is Rock of E2 could use some, some love? Alright. Whoops. Didn't mean to make a very odd and kind of unpleasant noise with my water bottle there. Yes. Sroka V2. Yeah, is it Sroka V2 or is it supposed to be Sroka VTuber? Because, yeah, I've definitely seen the name before, but I, I believe that it was Sroka VTuber. VTube is correct? Okay. My bad, my bad. I guess my brain was just auto-correcting because that's, you know, more typical. But yeah, anyway. Where was I? 
somewhere, I'm sure. Um, anyway, right, schedule. So yes, so today was a little bit of an exception. I was streaming today because I had missed some streams earlier this week. Um, so yeah, so next, or tomorrow, probably we won't be seeing another stream unless I get off work again early and I, uh, or get off work early again and just am in a streaming mood. But yes, most likely you'll see the next stream on Saturday. And this time I actually remembered to write down what time I was intending to stream. So let me check my calendar. Okay. So yeah, so tomorrow, nope, not tomorrow. Sorry, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday, we should be seeing another Arknight stream at roughly 2.30 p.m. Central Time. So yes, in the meantime, though, it's time to raid. Raid Shroka VTube. All right. So yes, so tonight has been Arknight. Um, Saturday will also be Arknight. And then hopefully next week, we should be getting into the schedule. Yeah, if we do, we'll be streaming on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. But yeah. So, uh, yes, of course, Sheppy Sheps here is the collaborator on Wednesday, so hopefully we'll be able to do a uh, coffee talk on that night. But yeah, other than that, we should be seeing Arc Nights at roughly, let's see, yeah, 12.30, roughly 12.30 on uh, Monday, PM, I should say need a nap. Yep, no worries, no worries. But yeah, no issues. But yeah, 12.30 p.m. Uh, Wednesday, or sorry, Monday. Central, I should also say. Anyway, I should need to get through this quicker because the raid's about to go off. So, uh, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, roughly on Wednesday. I'll try to get that out earlier if possible because, again, we of the internet issues as previously discussed saturday we should be seeing another 2 30 p.m central time stream for arc nights next week anyway thank you all for being here tonight hope you have had a, had a fine night i hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night and i hope that you've been well today yeah, yeah. <laughs> customer raid message we have arrived farewell bye <laughs>